good morning guys today is saturday it is november 27th welcome to our yoga class i hope you are ready for an hour of relaxation and focused breathing and hopefully when we're done we'll feel powerful and ready to face the day we're going to start with some relaxation so let's go down onto our backs let our arms be Restful at our sides, and let's turn our palms open face to the sky. Closing our eyes, we start breathing deeply in through the nose, expanding belly back and rib cage on the inhale. And exhaling out through the nose, we feel that same area of the body contract and empty. While we're breathing deeply in through the nose, out through the nose, bring awareness to your face. Relax your forehead. Relax your eyes. Relax your jaw. And then let's guide our breath into our neck and breathe into the tightness in your neck. Next, let's bring breath and awareness into our arms and breathe from your shoulders out through those fingertips. Next, let's breathe breath into our legs and we're gonna start at the hips and breathe all the way down to the very tips of your toes. From there, we're gonna bring our awareness and our breath into the spine. We wanna breathe from the very top of our head, down the length of our spine, weaving our breath in between each segment of the spine. Next, let's inhale both arms towards the sky. And as we exhale, reach behind us and reach out through your fingertips and then push out through your heels. So make your body as long and straight as you can. Try to stretch a little bit farther with your left arm and your left leg. And a little bit farther with right arm and right leg. And let everything go soft. Let's inhale the arms back up. Exhale, return them to your sides. From there, let's pull left knee to chest. I'm gonna keep it hugged in nice and close. Flex and point your foot. Roll the ankle around, let's lead with the big toe. And then let's go the other way. We'll let the foot relax. And then let's switch out the legs. In goes the right, out goes the left. Again, we'll flex point. Roll the ankle around, lead with your big toe. And then let's reverse. And rest your foot. Now let's bring both knees in nice and close to the body. Start out by just giving yourself a really tight hug, keeping your shoulders relaxed. Now let's rock gently side to side and massage either side of our spine. Return to neutral and then we'll circle our knees around, massaging lower back. And then let's go the other way. And then just hold the knees close to your body once again. From there, I want you to flex your feet and spread your toes out as wide as you can. Scrunch them up. Spread them wide. Scrunch them up. Spread them wide. Scrunch them up. 
and then just let your feet relax. Now start to open your knees while your big toes remain touching. Continuing opening the knees until you can get the soles of your feet to press together and you can pull your heels closer to your body. Good, and then we'll bring the knees back in. And I want you to cross your ankles and hook around your big toes with your second and third fingers. From there, tighten the belly, scoop the belly in and press through the back of your ribs as you lift shoulders, neck and head off the mat. Release back down. Change the cross of your ankles. Again, hook around your big toes. Tighten the belly, pressing through the back of the ribs. We round up. I want you to hold that belly button still nice and tight. And on the next exhale, let's roll all the way up. And then once we're up, that should bring us into an easy cross leg position. And we're gonna let our palms open face to the sky with the backs of our hands resting on our knees. Feel the shoulders fall away from your ears. Allow your chin to drop against your chest and feel that easy stretch in the back of your neck. Let's lift the head and tip back to open our throat. Try again, draw the chin down to your chest. Lift your head, tipping back to open the throat. Again, we drop our chin to our chest. We lift our head and tip back to open the throat. And then just bring yourself back to that neutral place. From there, we're gonna rotate our eyes to look over the right shoulder. Bring the head back to neutral and turn to look left. Okay, turn to neutral and turn to look right. We're back to neutral and we turn to look left. And just come back to that neutral center. From there, let's place our hands together at heart center. And then take a big inhale while we're here. On the exhale, start pressing your palms towards the sky, thumb and index fingers from a little triangle. And then inhale the arms back down, opening the elbows wide. Exhale, press up to the sky. And inhale, pull down. Try again, exhale, pushing to the sky and inhale back down. Once more, exhale, pushing to the sky, and then inhale, come back down. Let's lace our fingers and push our palms away from the body. Start to lean a little bit forward, keeping those sit bones on the mat, and then start lifting the arms higher and higher so your palms are pressing up. Sit a little bit taller out of the waist, begin to rotate to your right, and then let the arms float all the way down. So your fingertips lightly touch the floor. Now let's inhale the arms back up. And start rotating to your left and then exhale, let the arms float all the way down, fingertips to the floor. And we'll inhale the arms back up. And then exhale, let's just bring hands back to heart center. Let your palms open to the sky, rest your hands on your knees, and we'll drop our chin to our chest. Let's tip right ear to right shoulder, drop the chin and tip left. Drop the chin and tip right. Drop the chin and tip left. Drop the chin and tip right. Drop the chin and tip left. And then just let that chin rest on your chest. Slowly start to lift the head back to its nice neutral position and start to roll the shoulders from back to front. And then let's make some arm circles. And we're gonna just keep making the circles larger. And we'll do one more, and then just hold your arms open really wide, open your heart, open your throat. And 
and then let your hands come back to heart center. We'll take one more inhale as we are. On the exhale, let's come forward onto hands and knees. So whatever way works for you to get there, that's what we want to do. Once we're on our hands and knees, we want to press the tops of our feet into the mat. We want to have our shoulders over our wrists, our hips over our knees. And we want to spread our hands out nice and wide and turn them in slightly, pressing down through second, third, and fourth knuckles. So these are foundational hands. Now let's start sinking our navel, lifting our tailbone, lifting our head, opening our throat for our cow. And then exhale, let's round and scoop in for cat. Inhale again, cow. And exhale, round cat. Once more, inhale, cow. And exhale, round cat. Now come back to a nice, long, neutral spine. Let's extend the right leg behind us and push out to the right heel. And then we'll add the left arm forward, rotating your palm towards the sky. Let's exhale back down to all fours and then we'll switch. Extending that left leg behind us, pushing out through the heel, adding that right arm forward, spinal balance. Exhale, return to all fours. From there, let's separate the knees, big toes touching, press back through that tailbone, let your forehead reach the mat and let your chest drop between your knees. Turn your palms towards the sky. Flip the palms back over, creating those foundational hands. We'll tuck our toes and make our way up into downward facing dog. Once there, let's go ahead and walk our dog a few times. And then just keep the heels raised and we'll press them down. We want to let the head completely drangle through the arms. We want to feel our ribs pulling closer to our thighs. We want to feel the back of our shoulder blades reaching towards the tailbone. Now let's inhale forward into a good strong plank. We've got shoulders over wrists, eyes looking out, belly button tight. Exhale, come back up into down dog. Inhale again into our plank. Exhale, down dog. Again, inhale into plank. Now exhale, modify to your knees and start to lower down. Elbows open, chest down, hips down, tuck the elbows in. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. And exhale all the way back into extended child pose. Turning those palms towards the sky creates that deeper stretch going down the sides of your body. Return to foundational hands, tuck your toes. And we're back up into downward facing dog. Inhale, let's return to plank. And exhale again, down dog. Inhale to our plank. Now we can modify and lower or lower in one piece. Elbows open, chest down, hips down, elbows come in. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, tuck toes. Downward facing dog. Inhale again to your plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Once more, inhaling to our plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. And exhale, extended child's pose, coming all the way back. Scoop the belly in and let's round up for our cat. Sink the navel, lift the head, open your heart for cow. And then just hang out in that nice neutral spine. From there, let's re-extend the right leg, reach the left arm forward, coming back into that spinal balance. And then just set the hand down and we'll step the right foot forward. And we want to place that foot so it's between our hands and we've got our knees stationed over our ankle. And then from there, let's lift upper body, reach to the sky. There's our crescent moon. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, and that becomes runner's lunge. 
Once you've got a nice stable lunge, see if you can lift your upper body into your high lunge. And then exhale, hands to the mat. Step back with that right foot, return to your lunge. Press back up into downward facing dog. Inhale again to plank. Modify if you'd like, lowering down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale all the way back, extended child's pose. Foundational hands, we scoop the belly in, round the spine for cat. Sink the navel, lift the tailbone, lift the head, open your heart, cow. And then we're back to our neutral spine. Now we're ready to take that left leg, extend it behind us, push up through the heel, add the right arm forward for spinal balance. Bring the hand down first, and then we'll step that foot through, placing it between the hands. And then from there, let's lift up into crescent moon. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat. Tucking our right toes under, let's lift the right knee. That brings us into lunge. Once you've got a nice stable lunge, see if you can lift upper body and that becomes high lunge. Hands return to the mat. Let's step our right foot forward. <clears throat> toes in, heels out. There's our forward bend. As we inhale, slowly round up, reach high, touch the sky. Exhale into your heart. Inhale again to the sky and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, let's look out and exhale, sink down. Inhale, let's roll up, reach high to the sky and exhale to the heart. Inhale again, extend and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out and exhale, sink deeper. Right foot back, left foot back into plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, rising into cobra. Exhale, toes tuck, come on back up into down dog. Inhale, return to your plank. And exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes and heels out. Inhale, rolling up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale to your heart. Inhale again to the sky. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Left foot back, right foot back, holding plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, rise into cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, return to plank. And exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes and heels out, inhale, rolling the body up, reach high to the sky, and exhale to your heart. Again, inhale, extend, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out, exhale, sink deeper. Right foot back, left foot back, holding plank. Exhale, lowering down, inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Inhale again to plank, and exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes and heels out, inhale, rolling our body up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale to the heart. Once more, inhale, extend, exhale, fold forward, inhale, look out, exhale, sink deeper. Left foot back, right foot back, holding plank, exhale, coming down. Inhale, rise into cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale again to your plank. And exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes are in, heels are out. Inhale, rolling the body up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale to the heart. Now let your arms extend at your sides. Feel like you're reaching your fingertips towards the earth. Pressing down into all four corners of both feet. Lifting and opening the heart. Standing mountain pose. Inhale, touch the sky. Exhale, 
pull forward. Inhale, look out. And exhale as we sink. I want you to feel your rib cage actually pressing against your thighs. So maybe that means you have to soften your knees. Cradle your elbows in the palms of your hands and let your head just dangle within that brain. Let your hands release to the mat. Let's step back with our right foot into our lunge. And then once there, push your right heel down, turn your right toes out, and align your left heel with the back of your right heel. Begin to lift up our body. We want to keep our hip bones forward. I want you to center your body weight equally into both feet. And then when ready, add your arms. Feel your shoulders actively pulling away from your ears, pressing your weight in that forefoot into the second, third, and fourth toes. From there, let's open the arms wide, stay long in the waist, and bring your ribs to that front thigh for your warrior airplane. Release your hands to the mat. Come back onto the ball of your right foot, returning to lunge. Press down into the right palm, and then in your left arm to the side. Exhale, revolve at your waist for twisting lunge. Exhale the hand down. Step the left foot back into your sturdy plank. Exhale, we lower. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, return to plank. And exhale again, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes and heels out. Inhale, rolling the body up, reach high, touch the sky. Exhale, return to your heart. Now inhale to the sky and exhale, open just the arms. Let them hook together behind your back. Once there, we're going to start rolling the shoulder blades together as we open the heart center and pull down with your knuckles, tipping our head back to open that throat. Inhale to neutralize the spine. Exhale, we begin to hinge. Again, we're going to pull the ribs as close to our thighs as we can, letting our head drop, and then lifting the arms a little higher. Exhale, release your hands to the mat. Giant step back with our left foot into our lunge. Once established, push your left heel down, turn your left toes out, align your right heel with the back of your left heel, start lifting up our body. Squaring our hips to face forward, adding the arms when ready, warrior one. Centering that body weight equally into both feet. And the weight that's pressing into that front foot, we've got pushing down into our second, third, and fourth toes. And then let the arms open wide, stay long in the waist, let's hinge forward, bringing our ribs close to that front thigh. And then let your hands return to the mat. Come back onto the ball of your left foot, returning to lunge. And then we're gonna push the left hand down as we inhale, open right arm to the side. Exhale, revolve at our waist, completing our twisting lunge. Exhale the hand back down. Go ahead and step back with your right foot. There's our plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, tuck toes. Downward facing dog. Inhale again into plank. And exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward, toes and heels out. Inhale, rolling the body up. Reach high, touch the sky. And exhale, hands to heart. Let's return to standing mountain pose and breathe. Good. From there, begin to shift your weight into your right foot. Find a focal point for your eyes and feel your belly button tighten. We're going to take our left toes and just 
Send them behind us lightly on the mat. Inhale, arms towards the sky. Now as we exhale, let's see if we can start to tip forward, extending out through the left heel and the fingertips, moving us into warrior three. On the exhale, let your hands return to the mat. Step way back with your left foot, bringing you into runner's lunge. From there, let's walk ourselves around into a wide straddle, so we're facing the wide edge of our mat. So we've got our hands directly over our shoulders. We can bend our knees as much as we need to, and we're feeling our feet with our toes either straight ahead or turned in slightly. Inhale, lengthen, look out. Exhale, try melting a little deeper. See how limp you can allow your upper body to become. Go ahead and nod your head yes a few times. And then we'll shake it all no. And then just let the head hang out. Go ahead and press down into your palms, pushing your arms straighter and straighter. Now I want you to bend your left knee and begin to shift your weight to the left. So keep the outer edge of your right foot sealed onto the mat and breathe into that right inner thigh. Come back to that neutral place. Inhale, look out. And exhale, sink a little deeper. Push down through the palms once again. Shifting our weight to the left, pulling that right inner thigh, breathing into that right inner thigh. And then moving back into that neutral center. This time we're going to inhale, lengthen, look out. And on the exhale, we're going to open the arms wide and that becomes our straddle airplane. Now let's inhale and slowly rise to standing. And once we've made it upright, let's make sure our feet are a little wider than our hips, toes and heels out, five-pointed star. Palms are reaching open towards the sky and breathe. Rotate your palms to face forward and start to bring them closer together. Once your palms have met, we're going to clasp our hands together. And then I want you to push your palms away from your body. And while you continue to push through your palms, let the arms rise. So they're going to ultimately frame your head, keeping the upper arms a little bit in front of your ears, making sure we're not feeling any tension in the shoulders or the neck. While that's happening, we'll do a nice side bend to our left. Come back up and side bend to your right. And then come back to center and let's reopen into our five pointed star. Now let's turn our right toes to the front end of our mat, align your right heel with your left arch. And then when you feel ready, bend the right knee. Again, we're centering our body weight equally into both feet, but the weight that we're pressing into that right foot, we're pressing into the second, third and fourth toes. And there's warrior two. Lift the left arm alongside your left ear. Extend the right arm a little bit farther and lift the right as you lower your left. Palm is facing skyward. There's reverse warrior. Come back to warrior two. And then let's pull the right leg straight. So we're back to our starting position. Now we're ready to start reaching back with the left hip extending that right arm out as far, far, far as it will go away from the left hip. And once we can't go any further, simply lower the right and keep that left hand reaching to the sky. There's our triangle pose. Breathe into all that open space that you've created.
take one more inhale. On the exhale, we're bending the right knee and we're either placing our forearm on our thigh or reaching that right hand to the mat. There's extended angle. And now let the left arm lay across your left ear with your palm to the sky. And there's side angle pose. Let's inhale the left arm up. Exhale, revolve upper body. Return to the ball of your left foot and that brings us back into our lunge. From there, let's step right foot back. Our nice strong plank, exhale, we're lowering. Inhale, lengthen, rise into cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, we're back up into down dog. Inhale, let's return to plank. We can maintain plank or insert a push up. And then let's press back up into down dog. Extend the left heel behind you and start reaching that heel towards the sky for three legged dog. Now step the left foot between the hands, bringing us back into lunge. And then we'll step the right foot forward and that'll bring us into our forward bend. Toes are in, heels are out. Let's start to bend the knees and sink our hips. We're gonna sit in a tiny chair. And while we're doing that, pull your knees closer and closer together, lifting your ribs off of your thighs, add your arms alongside your ears. And then inhale, let's rise out of our chair. Exhale, let your hands come to your heart and then let your arms extend at your sides, and we're back into standing mountain pose. All right, so now we're gonna to begin to shift our weight into our left foot. Got that focal point for our eyes. We're gonna send our right toes behind us so they're lightly on the mat. Inhale the arms towards the sky, and then when you feel ready, we're gonna to start to tip forward Moving into our warrior three. Exhale, hands return to the mat. Step way back with that right foot, bringing us into runner's lunge. And then we're ready to walk ourselves around into straddle. So now we should be facing the other wide side of our mat. Toes are either straight ahead or turned in. Inhale, flat back to look out. Exhale, we're melting. We're gonna see if we can slip our fingers under the outer edges of our feet and use the strength in our arms to draw us a little deeper down without tensing through the neck or the shoulders. And then from there, you can release off of your hands. Press down through your palms so the arms get straight. And now let's bend the right knee. We're gonna shift our weight to the right, pulling that inner left thigh towards the mat. And let's come back to that neutral place. Inhale, looking out. Exhale, sinking deeper. If you can walk your hands through your legs and really stretch the arms long, pressing your palms into the mat, which is gonna pull you a little deeper down. And we'll bring the hands back into place, press down through those palms, straightening the arms. Bending the right knee once again, shifting your weight to the right so we're activating that left inner thigh. And then come back to that neutral center. Inhale, flat back to look out. Exhale, let's open the arms for airplane. And then inhale, we'll slowly rise to standing. 
Once we've made it upright, we've moved it into five-pointed star. Remember, five-pointed star, we want to be very, very open. So we're feeling our fingertips reaching, top of our head being drawn towards the sky. Rotate your palms to face forward. Slowly bring them closer and closer together. Once our palms have met, we'll lace our fingers and then let your index fingers press together. Breathe across your upper back and your shoulders. Now as we inhale, let's start lifting your arms. And again, they're just gonna frame the head, keeping the upper arms a little bit in front of your ears. Feel yourself lengthening out of your waistline. And let's go ahead and tip to our left. Inhale back up. Exhale, tip right. Inhale back up. Exhale again to your left. Inhale, lift. And exhale to your right. And then inhale, lift. And exhale, come back open into your five-pointed star. Now let's turn our left toes to the front end of our mat. Align our left heel with our right arch, keeping the body open. Bend, bend, bend the left knee until the knee's over the ankle. Body weight is centered, pressing into second, third, and fourth toes of that left foot and looking out over left palm for warrior two. Lift the right arm alongside your right ear. Let's extend the left arm a little further forward and then lift the left, lower the right. Pushing left palm towards the sky, reverse warrior. Let's come back to warrior two. And then pull the left leg straight without locking. And we're back to where we started. Now we're ready to pull our right hip right and start reaching that left arm farther and farther and farther away from the right hip. Once we can't go any further, lower your left and lift your right. And try to feel your body pressing against an imaginary wall behind you. So everything stays open. We're not feeling any tension in the shoulder or the neck. About one more inhale. On the exhale, we'll start to bend the left knee. We can either reach our hand to the mat or rest our forearm on our thigh. And there's extended angle pose. And then see about laying that right arm across your right ear, palm to the sky for side angle pose. Inhale the arm back up. Exhale, let's revolve upper body. Come back onto the ball of your right foot so we're in our lunge. Send the left foot back. There's our plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, we tuck our toes. We're back up into down dog. Inhale again to plank. You can stay there or insert your push up. And then exhale back up into down dog. Let's take the right heel, extend it behind us, pushing out and lifting towards the sky. Three legged dog. Send the right foot between your hands bringing us back into lunge. Stepping our left foot forward, toes are in, heels are out. Now start to bend the knees. And again, we're gonna imagine sitting down in a tiny chair. While we're doing that, we're pulling the knees closer and closer together, lifting ribs from thighs, adding arms to the sky, chair pose. Now inhale, reach and touch the sky. Exhale, let your hands return to your heart. And then extend your arms at your sides. And we're back into standing mountain pose. 
Let's inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, look out. And exhale, sink deeper. Now we're gonna take our right leg, extend it behind us, hip level, pushing out through the heel of your right foot and placing your hands so they form a tripod with your left foot. Stay in tripod if you'd like or align your left thumb with your left pinky toe and start to roll the right hip open. As you're doing that, see if you can add the right arm to the sky and that becomes half moon balance. Exhale, right hand down if it's lifted. Let's step back into our runner's lunge. Once we've made it into runner's lunge, we're gonna start pulling the left leg straight and pushing the right heel down, turning those right toes out slightly. We've got our left heel aligned with the back of our right heel. And then we're gonna inhale, lengthen, look out. And as we exhale, sink a little deeper into that left thigh and try to really let go of those hamstrings. Let's take one more inhale. On the exhale, start to re-bend the left knee. Return to the ball of your right foot and then step the right foot forward. Once we've got our right foot back into place, we're gonna extend the left leg behind us at level, pushing out through the left heel. Hands form a tripod with our right foot. And again, we can stay in our tripod balance or we can align our right thumb with our right pinky toe, start to roll the left hip open, adding that left arm to the sky, half moon balance. Exhale, left hand down if it's lifted. We all step back with our left foot, bending the right knee. So there's our runner's lunge. Now we start to push the left heel down, turning the left toes out, align those heels and straighten the right leg. Inhale, lengthen, look out. And then exhale, we're gonna melt a little deeper into that right thigh. About one more inhale. On the exhale, start to re-bend the right knee, return to the ball of your left foot, and then step your right foot back, and that becomes our plank. Now we're ready to keep our right shoulder over our right wrist and turn to the side for side plank. Modification, you can rest the side of your right knee on the mat. Exhale, come back around into your plank. And then I want you to lift the right foot not too high and then press back into three-legged dog. Lift to the ball of your left foot. Come forward again into your one-legged plank. Set the right toes down and let's keep our left shoulder over our left wrist and turn it into side plank modifying to the side of our left knee if we'd like. Exhale back around into our plank, lifting our left foot not too high, but then pressing back into three-legged dog. Lift to the ball of your right foot, Pull forward again into your one-legged plank. Set the left toes down. Lowering the body down. Inhale, let's lengthen, rise into cobra. And exhale, tuck the toes. We're back up into down dog. Go ahead and walk your dog a few times. 
Let's raise up those heels and then press them down. From there, we're gonna make our way back down onto all fours. Let's separate the knees, keep the big toes close, and let's push back with our tailbone, letting the chest drop in between the knees, extending out through the fingers, palms to the sky. Let's pass our left arm to the right armpit. Bring that arm out and we'll switch, passing right through left. And let's bring that arm back out, stretch a little bit further. And we'll walk our hands closer to our knees. That way we can begin to lift upper body. And then once we're up, Let's come around and have a seat. We'll start with our left leg extended and our right knee bent. You can walk your foot in as close as you can to your body, keeping both of the sit bones on the mat. Let's wrap the left arm around the bent right leg. Inhale, sit taller and straighter. Exhale, we're gonna rotate at the waist to look over that shoulder. As we exhale, let's untwist. And I want you to take the right foot and step it across the left leg. And then what, once that's done, you're gonna bend the left knee. All right, and once you've got that seated position, let's extend the arms out. I got a cramp in my hip, so bear with me here. I'm not gonna cross all the way over. And we're gonna bring the arms forward. And I want you to place your left elbow in the crease of your right elbow and then bend the elbows so the back of your hands or your palms meet together. And that becomes our eagle arms. And we're gonna sit up nice and tall and breathe. Good, and then let's untwist and let your palms and your elbows meet. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, let the arms float down. Once they've made it down, we can uncross the legs. And now we're going to stretch the left leg out straight. Bend the right knee, walk your foot in nice and close to your body. And then use the left arm to wrap around the bent right knee. Inhale taller, inhale straighter. And then exhale, rotate at the waist to look over your shoulder. Exhale as we untwist. And then let's step the left foot across the right leg. And bend the right knee. And once you've got your legs in place, we'll stretch the arms out wide. Start to bring them closer together, setting the right elbow in the crease of the left elbow, bending the elbows to the back of your hands or your palms meet through your eagle arms. And then let's untwist so our palms and our elbows meet. Inhale, extend to the sky. Exhale, let the arms slow down. Once they're down, you're gonna stretch out both legs nice and straight in front. Hands on either side of your hips. You can bounce your knees up and down a few times. And then just let them press down. I want you to push down into your palms, push out through the bottoms of your feet and feel like the top of your head is being pulled towards the sky. Good. 
and then we can exhale and soften a bit. And let's bend the knees, soles of the feet come together. We're gonna pull our heels in as close to our body as we can. And then continue to open the knees and breathe into your inner thighs and your outer hips. Take one more inhale. As we exhale, we can soften a bit, and then we're gonna extend both legs out into a nice wide V. Push out through the heels of your feet, let your hands rest in front of you, and then start to walk your hands forward as you push back through your tailbone. And I want you to think about getting your belly button to the mat, so not your forehead, but if you get your belly button down, your forehead and the rest will follow. And then we can walk ourselves back up. And let's take the left hand and inch it over towards the left ankle. Send the right hand high. We'll do a side stretch to the left. And then if you can, let that left forearm melt into the mat on the inside of that left calf. We'll inhale back up, let that arm come down, and then start to inch that right hand down towards your right ankle. Send the left arm high, side stretch to the right, and then see if you can melt that right forearm into the mat on the inside of your calf. And then let's inhale back up and exhale that arm comes down. Now we're ready to bring the legs together. And once they're together, let's bend our knees and bring our arms between our legs so we can hook around our big toes. Once we've got hold of our big toes, hold the belly button nice and tight, keep your back nice and straight, and find your balance on your tailbone. And then when ready, we can extend one leg at a time, and that'll take us into big toe wide boat. And then see if you can let go of your toes and stretch those hands towards the sky. And then we're gonna slowly open down one segment at a time. Once we're down, press out through the heels of your feet, reach out through your fingertips. And then let's lift the arms up and return them to your sides. Start by just bending the knees, walking the feet in close. And then bring your knees to your chest and extend them towards the sky. So here's our very modified shoulder stand. This is also a great thing to do with your legs against the wall and just kind of relax. If you want to take it into full shoulder stand, we need to make sure we're um, engaging the abdominals to do the lifting and holding. We don't want to be sinking down into our hands. We want to make sure that we're not bearing any weight into our neck. And if you're in full shoulder stand, you're gonna bend the knees and bring them towards your ears. If you're in modified shoulder stand, bring your knees to your chest. And then full shoulder stand, people, the arms come down. We simply roll the spine back into the mat and that makes us all have knees to chest. And then let's set our feet down on the mat, space them apart about hips distance, toes and heels out enough space between your glutes and your heels so that we, when we start tightening the belly and lifting our hips away from the mat, bringing us into our shoulder bridge, we're gonna feel lots of activation in the gluteals and the hamstrings, no pressure in the knees, no pressure in the neck.
And then as we exhale, let's come down one vertebra at a time. Once we feel that our back is nice and relaxed against the mat, just spread the arms out wide. And then I want you to stretch your left leg out straight. Keep the right knee bent and shift your hips a tiny bit to the right. Tuck the right toe behind the left knee. And then your left hand is going to press on the outside of your right thigh to guide your knee towards the mat without lifting the right shoulder. And then let's bring the knee back to neutral. And use your hands to hug it in, oh, so close to your body. Let's do a nice, easy knee circle around. And we'll go the other way. And then keep the knee tucked in, tighten the belly, and I want you to bring your nose up to meet your knee. And then while you're still up, you can release your knee and push the leg back out, let it rest on the mat, and then roll the upper body back to the mat. Reopen the arms. This time we're going to bend the left knee foot on the mat. Shift your hips a tiny bit to the left. Tuck the left toe behind the right knee. Use your right hand to push on the outside of your left thigh, guiding your knee towards the mat. And then let's bring our knee back to neutral. Use your hands to hug it in really close. And then we'll make some slow circles around with the knee. And go the other way. And then from there, keeping the knee hugged in, I want you to tighten the belly, press through the back of the ribs, and bring your nose up towards your knee. Stay lifted, extend the left leg out, let that leg lower down, and then melt your body back into the mat. Once you're down, you can extend your arms at your sides, palms open to the sky, and breathe. And just let go of any tension that remains in your body by guiding your breath into those spots. If there's areas that give you challenge on a daily basis, spend a little extra time in those places.
Having a strong heart in a cruel world is courage, not weakness. Let us set aside all of our anxious thoughts and make a choice to live today with courage, with an open heart, a grateful heart, and a hopeful heart. Know that my soul honors your soul. I honor the place in you where the entire universe resides. I honor the light, the love, the truth, the beauty, and the peace within you because it is also within me. In sharing these things, we are united, we are the same, we are one. Namaste. Namaste. Don't forget to drink your water, keeping your body nice and hydrated. Don't forget to spread those random acts of kindness, wearing our masks when we're out and about amongst others, even if we're vaccinated. And I thank you so much for joining me today. I'll be back tonight or tomorrow actually to let you know what's taking place on Monday. I hope you stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you soon. Bye.